How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the TMA T210 cordless vacuum cleaner. This is a pretty low price vacuum cleaner, but it is in the style of a Dyson handheld. They popularized this cyclone technology where it throws the dirt around the perimeter. So the obvious thing is how does it compare to a Dyson? Put on the attachment here. It does two levels of suction power, 13 kPa and 25 kPa. Who would ever say, I don't need as much suction power today. I don't want to suck up as much dirt. I've charged a battery overnight. Let's see how long it lasts on full power and with the brush head attachment. Start. Just push this and pull it out. Push this button here. Reattach that and let's keep on going. It's a lot more lightweight than a full-size vacuum. It appears to me an upright vacuum still has a lot more suction power because it's plugged in. The cordless is great for in-between full-size vacuum cleaning. It also allows you to vacuum in little nooks and crannies that you can't get to with a full upright vacuum. I enjoyed the motorized brush head and the LED front illumination, especially when you just want to vacuum somewhere real quick without turning on the lights. It just cut off about 16 and a half minutes. They quote about 18 to 40 minutes of runtime. Pretty close if you're using it on full blast with the attachment. The attachment here consumes about 15 watts. To charge it, you can either leave the battery in the vacuum and just plug it in. If you push this button and pull it out, you can also charge it separately like that. It comes with four HEPA filters, three right here and one inside the vacuum. It has this little Velcro screen thing. It looks like you can wash this mesh, but you're not supposed to submerge this part. You turn it on by pulling on this trigger and there's three LEDs for battery power. You push this, for the maximum suction power. It comes with the wall mount and anchors attach it to your wall. The bottom of the vacuum cleaner has a little hook area and it goes on like that. There's a vacuum intake here and two conductors to power the brush heads. This is the wide nozzle. You push this and the brushes will come out. Attach it. The narrow suction head, attach that. And the powered brush head, you can attach it directly to the main unit so it can be very short and you can vacuum the walls. There's an extender here, and this is a very sturdy metal. Just push this button and it can extend to long enough so that it can reach the floor. Then you can attach this extension to the main unit, put the brush head extension on, the narrow extension on, or the powered extension on, and it will remain powered. To clean the filter, you just open it up like that and twist it open, pull it out, remove the HEPA filter. Ooh, seems like a lot of fine particles went through this metal mesh here and they advise you to clean it like so. Probably why I got only 16 and a half minutes because this was a little bit dirty. We can also clean the filter here as well. Replace that in there. Turn right to lock it in place and then we can reclose the lid. To clean the brush head, you can unlock it over here. Pull open this tab and this brush thing will come right out. It comes with this handy tool for you to get all the hairs. And it cuts it, reinsert it, snap the end piece back on and we're ready to vacuum again. One drawback of this battery is that there is no LED indicator to indicate charge state. I suppose you can check the charge state by plugging it in turning it on and looking at how many bars light up here. This is an 18 watt charger and we got a 65 watt hour battery. It's gonna take about four hours to reach a full charge. Overall, I think it's a good value vacuum cleaner. I was able to use it for about 16 and a half minutes, almost vacuum my entire house just on one full charge. Here, I'm gonna be using this over the years and see how long it lasts. If you guys are interested in this vacuum cleaner, it's a pretty low priced one. Check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.